boys and girls, my name is Brandon and today we're doing a special episode of the Q Review where I have a guest and my wife. I'm on the Q Review all the time, right? No, you're on the Consume Cast. The Q Review is my single uh, show. And if you don't know what the Q Review is, um, I basically give a quick rundown, three to six minutes is what I try to keep it at, of a Netflix talking, it's gonna be movie than or minutes. show. Shut the hell up. <laughs> this is why I do it single. Uh, and today we're going to talk about a TV show, which we don't do a lot on the show, but obviously um, with the return of Supernatural Season 11 on October 8th of 2015, which is tomorrow right now, uh, I figured I would talk about what is on Netflix and what we've seen so far and recommend it to you guys, and it's an easy episode of the Q Review to do. So, how do you feel about the show? And give me a star on one to five. Obviously a five. It's like, Supernatural is like hazelnut. You'll either like it or you hate it. You have very strong feelings about it or you don't care about it. I thought it. you were going to say heroin. It is like heroin too, but that's that's a different story. Um, I give it a five. What was it? So you're doing five out of five perfect score. Yes. Which I think I've only given to one TV show, which was Warehouse 13. Yes. because I wasn't into it until recently. <laughs> Um, because Tumblr spoiled it for me. Not in the sense that it gave me spoilers, but everyone was like, oh, the, the Supernatural fandom has completely taken over the internet, so I never wanted to watch Supernatural. And then we started watching it, and I got hooked on it, and about season, I would say season like three, four, and five, I wasn't real into. Um, maybe just like four and five, when they started shifting more towards not like, um, what are the episodes in the X-Files where they focus on like, I'm going to cut you off for just a second. Okay. So basically the plot of the show is there's two brothers and they are... Everyone knows what Supernatural is. This is part of the show. Okay. I, I, this is what I do. Um, <laughs> they're two brothers. They kind of hunt monsters. Yada, yada, yada. It's very inspired by the X-Files. If you if you know, if you don't realize that... The style of the show. You can think about it and it is. You, know, okay. you have your two main characters and those are called Monster of the Week episodes. My legs are so hairy. Which are episodes that divert from the, the main story path and just kind of... Act as fluff. So anyway, yeah. That's so when what Supernatural are. got, I like the the story base. I like seeing like the deterioration of them and like their relationships and all that fun stuff. But it got so heavy that it wasn't enjoyable for me to watch anymore. And I can't really watch a show from start to finish. There are a like, good chunk of episodes mm -hmm. there in the middle that I've watched. We just finished. Um, season 8, which Brandon will probably talk about, and I would say that I probably only watched maybe half of it, and then he fills me in on the rest of it, but once I sit down and, like, commit myself to it, I can't stop watching it. Yeah, so, as of now, there's, as of today, actually, there's 10 seasons on Netflix, which is everything up to the new start tomorrow. Yeah. Um, so, so far, I've watched two, like, 190 episodes. I think I've seen, you know... I've seen everything up to season 8. I haven't missed an episode. Mm -hmm. The show is incredible. I'm also going to give it... Normally I go on a .5 scale. I'm going to give it a 4.9. Okay. Which is new for me. But I want to give it a 4.9 because although it's a perfect show, it's too addicting. I've yeah. wasted so much... Like, I've wasted almost 200 hours watching this TV show over the past couple months. And once you start, it gets worse, and it just creates a... Like, that's what like, I said. That you have... You can't just watch one episode of Supernatural. You can't just eat one potato ugh, chip. It's horrible. You can't just... I, I will probably watch another... I'll say. watch another season this weekend. I'll probably watch all of season nine this weekend. Well, I'm going to be at work, so you better fill me in. Yeah, I will watch 22 hours of this show, you know, this weekend. It is insane. But, so... I think we've, we've averaged out at a 4.95 would be our yeah. scores. This show is incredible. Obviously, you have a Netflix account. If you don't, there should be a link in the doobly-doo. And if not, get a password from somebody. Or just Go watch, watch the show. Supernatural reruns on the, on the two. Yeah, TBS actually shows them in order. Yeah. So, um... That's how I watched Charmed for, like, three years. I think it's TBS, which is weird because it's on the CW. Anyway... Thank you guys so much for watching. I will fade the trailer in at the end of this video. But before that, um, do you have anything else to say? My heart beats only for Castiel. That's okay, because I am really into Bobby Singer. What the hell? What the hell? So you just heard... Bleep that you out! Heard, you heard a re 
temporary sound effect because this morning I just gave a spoiler. <laughs> anyway, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> She's not going to be on the Q review anymore. I'm so sorry. Leave a comment down below, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye. Dad's on a hunting trip, and he hasn't been home in a few days. Sam and Dean Winchester. We're hunters. What do you mean, hunters? I think he wants us to pick up where he left off. You know, saving people, hunting things. The family business. Well, we know a little about a lot of things. Just enough to make us dangerous. The beast of America Lay down like a naked dead body Keep it real for the people working overtime They can't stay living Good on riddance. the government's dime Stand tall for the people of America Stand It's tall you, for isn't it? We've been looking for you for a long time How would you feel if I killed your family? No! Oh, that's right. I forgot I did. So... Turns out demons are real. FYI, ghosts are real too. So are werewolves, vampires, changelings, evil clowns that eat people. Stand tall for the beast of America. Lay down Who are you? Like a Castillo. Body. I'm an angel of the Keep Lord. The Get the hell out of here. There's no such thing. I thought angels were supposed Stand to be guardians. I'm not here Stand to perch on your shoulder. Next door. Sam Winchester, the boy with the demon blood. And it is written that the first seal shall be broken when a righteous man sheds blood in hell. Think of the seals as locks on a door. Last one open, said, Lucifer walks free. Lucifer cannot rise. He does, and hell rises with him. We got work to do. different than anybody else. I'm infected with demon blood. You've been to hell. <laughs>